The Word Collector from the author of Happy Dreamer and the Dot, Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Emerald. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Willow. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two-syllable treats. Treasure, moti, candid, hover, glimmer, whisper and multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Guacamole, kaleidoscope, wonderful, geometry, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sound were perfectly suited for their meaning. Molasses, torrential, Tyrannosaurus rex, smudge, bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbook with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew he began organizing them, dreaming, science, sad, action, poetic. One day while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jer Jerome began stringing words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace, savor, dreams, cascading, stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. Visual, brilliance, waterfall, infinite, hugs, molecule, harmony, gaggle, bohemian, 
bungalow. Thanks. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter Hamilton Reynolds